the beach. I'll give you some pictures of what's in here when I get back at the end. There's glory in here. I'll give you a little hint. Glory. Randall's. Got to share with you is the, the guru came by this morning. You know, Mr. Kenny, the guru, the oldest guy that hunts with us. He brought me this ace of I. He wants to sell it. Anybody looking for ace? It's a one. I don't know if it's a one fifty or a two fifty. Oh, one fifty. Seventy five dollars. Anybody wants the ace? Seventy five bucks. One side is shingled. The tide is going to be dead low when we get here. We're probably going to have about an hour or two max before it starts to rush in the back end. Well, they don't rush back in here, but you know what I mean. Stand by. I think the Mumbles man, he must be here or out somewhere because I've texted him a couple times and no, no response. So that means he's spinning someplace. He may have gone to the land of Nada. He went to Nada yesterday, found a, I don't know if it was a tungsten or titanium, some kind of bling ring. Stand by a minute, let me get through this gate. He's out here somewhere because he brought that detector by about two hours ago before I had to deliver some knives. Pick up those, I didn't show you the scissors, I had to pick up some scissors. Anyway, Maybe we'll have some company here on the bay. Tide looks beautiful from right here. I told you it's gonna be low though. I got shorts on and flip flops, like I like it. Hmm, very interesting, very interesting. Slews, I like slews. Slews everywhere I look. Oh, the hole looks good too. The hole over there. Nice hole right there. That's the hole we've been working in. I'll get back to you. Damn, I had a lot of stuff on, didn't I? I'm just setting up. Let's we'll start right out here. Well, it sanded in some. Right along here. Is where our block of concrete is. You see, it's gone. It's under the sand somewhere. That's not good. That's the first thing I was looking for. Might be 12 15. Might be a bottle cap, but we got it. There is solid 14, 15. No iron grunt. I don't see anything. So it's not a bottle cap, I don't think. I think I like it now. Unless I throw it on top of something. I must have thrown it on a piece of iron. So there's what it is. Looks like a coin of some kind. Pretty penny. It must be a big piece of iron right here. Or either another target. Stand by a minute. A little nice slow. I got a Canadian penny. Piece of aluminum. I'm 
coming up on the boatyard site now where all the brass screws and nuts and stuff are. Up another 50 feet and I'll be in that zone. You see there's another little slough out there. But there's one right in front of us where you see that guy right now. That's where I'm headed. Stand by. Wrap aluminum. Solid tin. Well, it was. Now it's kind of choppy. Might be a. Now it's reading minus five. It's a solid eight out of the ground. Could it be a cap? Right there, whatever it is. No, nope, not a cap. The dog tag or a cremation tag or something. Chesapeake. Crematorium 07875 Greenville, Maryland. No, Beltville, Maryland. <laughs> I think that's my first one for 2018. That's how I got my name, Grave Digger Max, by digging so many of these one summer. I think we'll put this one right back there. Goodbye, my friend. Go back to sleep. I know we got some candy today. Dogs. Beautiful day. Well, I reached one of my goals yesterday. As of yesterday, I lost 60 pounds. Six zero. Probably at 61 today, I will be. But I can tell you, this last 10 pounds has been hell. I got 40 more to go. At least that's my goal to lose 100. I may stop at 80, but I don't think so. I'm hoping to be at uh, 190 by the end of May. Iron. Hey, Bowser, how you doing? Okay, stand by. A baby knobby shell whelk. See the knobs on his hell? That's a knobby shell one. I like it. Well, while we're here, In about 20 or 30 days, 
40 days, they're going to fill all this in. As you can see, up that way it needs it. It's going to be uh, 700 feet wide, 10 foot deep. It's going to go out. I heard 35 light poles from the tunnel. I don't know. I heard 700 feet, then I heard 35 light poles. But I can tell you by June, this is going to be a wide beach. They're not going down there where I live. They're going to stop about um, a half a mile from where I'm standing that way. And they're going to fill it all the way in to the tunnel, I think. Maybe a little bit beyond it. That's where Beaver lives on the other side. This place will be ruined forever. 10 foot deep, 700 foot wide. Good gracious, but it'll be a nice beach. They're going to pump it from right out here. Maybe they'll bring up something that's out there. That's the good part, if there is a good part. I'll get back to you. And that's peat under all this beach. Great big places of peat. See it right there? That's a nice sign right there. But there's so many big rocks in here. You can't hardly swing your detector. some stuff here though amongst all these rocks and iron and peat you see that's a little bar right there I'm working right in the slough like then we got a, a six to a ten right here that's the best signal we had Thanks amongst all this stuff. Let's see what we can find. I don't see anything. Looks like it fell through. Right in here. I don't see anything.
exercise than it was treasure. You saw the spoons, you saw the knobby whelk, you didn't see the old piece of chain, you didn't see the top to the oil can, that might be the coolest piece. You saw the dime, the curly penny, the Canadian penny, a little top to a screw, a fire 22, I don't know what this is, but a little piece of brass of some sort. And then this piece of bling. Like I said, whoops. More exercise than anything else. But exercise is good. And it was sunny, warm. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be 10 degrees warmer. I'm going back to the same exact spot with the Mumbles Man. Mumbles Man went to the bay today as well. Uh, he was east of me about two, three miles. Blingy stuff and a pocket knife. I'll show you the picture in a little while. Okay.